Welcome back to Land Vision Studios. Today we're going to be taking another look at Unreal Engine 5.1. In my last tutorial, I showed you guys how to make a simple landscape and start your level off. Well, today I'm actually going to show you how to start a new level and start from scratch as we are going to make our first level for our first game in the next tutorial. But in this tutorial, I'm going to get you ready for that by showing you guys how to use Quixel Bridge and how to use the assets from Quixel Bridge to create your own scenes. Now today is just going to be the simple tutorial on how to get Quixel Bridge and how to install it, how to get it working, and how to import the assets. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. The first thing I want you to do is download Quixel Bridge. If you don't know how to download Quixel Bridge, I'll leave a link in the description. So what you want to do when you get to the Quixel Bridge website is go to this icon here and click Download Bridge. It may ask you to sign in or create an account. Go ahead and do that as well. Alright, once you have Quixel Bridge installed, the first thing we are going to do is actually create a new level. The reason we're going to do this is because the rest of the tutorials we're going to try to make our own little world that we can use in a video game. So we're going to start from scratch actually. If you like this landscape it's okay. It is saved in the third person map and you can come back to it at any time. But what I want you to do right now is go to file and go to new level. And as you can see we have four different options to create a new level. The most used one probably I would say is basic. I just want you to select basic. As you can see now we are in a new level with just a blank floor. We already have a sky and everything else. When you create a new level you're going to have to save it otherwise the assets that you put in afterwards are not going to be saved. Unreal Engine doesn't recognize this as a level yet so let's go ahead and save it. Go to file and go to save current level as and I like to put this under my content third person maps so again content third person maps and you'll see your third person map here so anytime you want to go back to your third person map or any level for that matter you just go back to this now depending on your project it may be labeled differently All right, let's just name our new map, Test Map 1. And click Save. So now you'll see at the top left-hand corner, our map has been saved as Test Map 1. All right, let's open up Quixel Bridge and see what it looks like. Once you open up Quixel Bridge, you'll be able to download assets, materials, and other things from this asset browser. You should be able to just drag and drop them straight into your project after downloading them. Make sure that you come up to the top right hand corner and sign in. When you're done signing in, you'll see on the main screen that you have this asset pack. This is an asset pack called Arctic Ice and Snow. It may be different depending on the time period of this video, but for now it should say Arctic Ice and Snow. Alright, when you open the Arctic Ice and Snow collection, you will see that all of the assets and materials pretty much match the content pack. So we have a lot of ice walls, uh, we have some ice embankments, we have some mountains, we have an iced up waterfall it looks like looks like an iced up waterfall there we also have some snow materials if you want to use them to paint or add materials to your assets there are also rocks and land formations that you can use on the ground there are several different things in these asset collections that you can use to pretty much match all the rest of the assets in the collection you're using so let's just import an asset just to show you what it's like to import an asset. I just want to add a simple barrel to my project. 
That way I have some trash cans or something around my level. So what I want to do is go up to the search bar and search for barrel. All right. So now when you type in barrel, you'll see we get a couple of different styles of barrels. This pretty much works for anything that you type in and is in the asset browser. So what's really cool about this Quixel Bridge asset browser is you literally can just take the asset and drag it straight into your project. Now what it will do is it will automatically download this asset so it will take a minute for it to show up in your project. You should get a loading screen like this that will tell you that it's loading into your project. If you'd like to adjust the quality of these assets before importing them in, just click on one. Come down to this drop down menu here where it says Nanite. It might say high quality depending on the asset, but you can choose the quality of the asset if you want to if you want them to be lower quality, maybe you want them to import in faster, maybe you want more items in your project and it's just overbearing your load. It just doesn't really matter. Either way, you can adjust these at any quality that you want. And of course, you can hit download here and add there, but I like to just drag them straight into the project. All right, so our barrels are in the project. They're pretty far away, so how can we get closer up to them? Well, just click on one of these and hit the F key. It will take you straight to an asset. So now you can see we have our high quality barrel inside of our Unreal Engine project. All right, so we have our plastic drum. Did it import our rusty drum? Let's click on rusty metal barrel. Hit F. And there it is. There is our barrel in our project and we can do anything we want with it. So that's pretty much all there is to adding your own assets from Quixel Bridge into your project. So now in this tutorial we have a new level with a custom name as well as some assets from Quixel Bridge in our project. In the next tutorial I'll show you guys how to create a different kind of landscape from the other landscape we made just using these assets. I'll also show you how to add collision to these assets so you don't fall through the floor or you can interact with these objects. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys learned something from this. Tell me what you learned in the comments. I hope this helps you guys out. I will see you guys on the next Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. See you guys next time.